Good morning everybody, welcome to Traveling Tuesday. Today we're going to take this beautiful 2019 Jeep Grand Cherokee X package for a little ride. We're going to go downtown and meet with a young man named Tyson Leeser. He's going to tell us about what he does for Edward Jones here in Van Wert. And uh, this Jeep itself, beautiful ride, you can see just by taking a look at it. Features on the interior, you got heated seats, uh, backup camera, blind spot monitoring, everything you could possibly want for your family vehicle, along with the great ride of a Grand Cherokee. Come check it out when you get a chance. We're going to check it out right now down the road. Welcome back guys, we're here with Tyson Leeser this morning, uh, I'm going to talk to him a little bit about what he does here at Edward Jones, and what Edward Jones can do for you. So Tyson, just the first question out of the gate is, what actually uh, does Edward Jones provide to people? Yeah, so I'm a financial advisor with Edward Jones, and we help people with a multitude of different uh, services, so uh, it can be as simple as a short-term goal of saving for a car and just making sure you have the money working properly for you. Um, or a lot of times we help people with their retirement needs, so it's saving for retirement um, and either an IRA and, and the different types of products that we have out there. So and that's short, but there's also a lot of other things that we can help sure, people sure. out with uh, along with those items. Well, I know you have some banking background. Yep. Uh, what made you decide to take this uh, career path at this point? Yep, so I worked at the local bank here in town for about six years, loved what I did. I was a loan officer there, um, and I could help people out with their finances in that regard. Uh, the biggest thing that made me leave that opportunity was um, I was helping them with just one piece of the, the financial puzzle, where in this job now I can help people, whether they're 18 starting out investing or if they're in retirement in their 70s. Uh, again, there's a lots of financial matters you can help out now that gives you a more broad picture um, and it's more of a long-term sure. planning um, instead of just the one time. And you're more likely to have a, so to speak, customer for life. Exactly. Kind yep. of thing if you catch them at the at, right point. Exactly. At the bank, uh, you maybe see a person once every five or six years just because they're not doing a lot of loans. We're here. I'm in regular contact and constantly helping uh, those clients Great. throughout their lifetime. What do you enjoy most about this job? So I am a planner just by nature, so I enjoy forecasting and helping people through the uh, sometimes difficult obstacles of understanding all the financial um, numbers being thrown out there. So I like the fact that you're helping people and it's with something that a lot of people just don't have a good understanding with and I have the gift to understand it, so I feel like it's my job to, to help people um, in that regard. Which brings us to the next, my next question, um, school. Yep. What, any specialized school that you went to for this? or did? Yeah, so that's a good question. So uh, when I started just graduating from um, high school, I went to the, you know, the University of Toledo and just studied finance. Um, initially, I was just in business, but kind of gravitated towards finance. Um, there is no special requirements. Eventually, if you do want to become a financial advisor, you have to get some licensing. Uh, but a lot of that was just adding uh, with the finance background I had at college. So gotcha. again, there's a lot of different paths that people take, but that was the path I took, and I did a lot of the research before I got here, so I do most of the, of the ins and outs. So. Sure, sure. And um, anything special that you, anything you really focus on here? Or like I know you've said you're kind of broad spectrum. Yeah. Uh, beginning to end, but is there anything that you feel is really kind of your uh, niche? Yeah, so I guess my primary focus is just helping businesses and um, individuals save for retirement. So a lot of what we do is we help plan, 
allow them to take that step and know that they're going to be okay when they retire because that's usually the hardest thing to do. Uh, but a lot of it's just individual investors that um, once they retire, they just want to have someone help them um, with the disbursements and just making sure that everything's going to last how they had planned. So, gotcha. Yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to share about things? Um, is there a busier time for you than other? I, I would assume so, tax time or pre-tax time is a... Yeah, so that's a good question. So usually it does go in lulls, just depending on the weather. So sure. people are more likely to come and meet with me usually when it's not as nice outside. Mm -hmm. Usually uh, they're at ball games and things like that once the weather starts to break. Um, so usually right before the Christmas time, um, you get a, little, get a little bit more activity. You have to take out certain uh, amount of money out of retirement accounts. So we're getting that stuff buttoned up. Along with around tax time, you do have people that are making their year-end uh, IRA contributions. So it tends to pick up around there too. But okay. other than that, you so, never so know. So now we're coming into your time to take vacation, right? Well, <laughs> that, that could be the case. Yep. No, you know, it's kind of like, I guess you guys deal with it too. Ups and downs, ebbs and flows, you never know from one yeah, to one. Yeah, you really, so. you really don't. I try, I've been in it eight years now and I'm still trying to figure yeah, it out. Yeah, trying to figure out the busy. In the bakery time. business, I had it down. Yep. In the car business, still learning. Yep, it's okay though. You can get other things done if you're not busy. So. Absolutely. And there's always something to do. Yep. Um, well, I, I guess that, man, you, you really had it right on the nail there, so. We'll take it. I really appreciate <laughs> you guys joining us today for Traveling Tuesday. Check uh, check in with Tyson. Do you have a website, Tyson? Uh, there's a Edward Jones website. Edward Jones website. Yeah. So, if you have any financial needs of any kind, whether you're starting out or coming to the end of your career and just need to figure out what way to make things go, I'm sure he'd be glad to meet with you and take care of you. It's always nice to have local uh, face uh, with with your service. So, come in, see Tyson, um, and and hopefully he can help you out. Thank you.